Well, hello and welcome back, everybody, to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, and I'm your host. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for joining me on this journey of what we're about to do here in just a minute. Um, I have a very interesting video for you this this day. This is uh, Tuesday, and it is, I don't know, 7.48 at night, but I'm going to do this video anyway. This video is about, is Mac OS or Linux Pop OS better? Which one is the best? That's the question. So I have both. I have, as you can see, this is Pop OS 2204, which is the one I've been using now for three days, two or three days. And I absolutely love it better than Windows. I have none of the issues that Windows has presented. And I'm very happy about that. So Windows can kiss my butt. I'm done with them. So in this video, but we're we're not going to ignore Windows for now. And in this video, we're going to examine Windows, uh, Linux Pop OS versus Mac OS. Now, there are some strengths to both and weaknesses to both. Now, there are certain things in Mac OS that I hate. And, and some of those things, there's a couple of those things that I'm like, this shouldn't even be an issue. But they are. So one of the things, we'll start with the list of what I like about both. So the first thing I like about Linux is the speed. Oh my goodness. It is as fast as Mac OS, but way faster than Windows. Everything is faster than Windows. Windows is slower than hammered snot. And it's because of their file system, probably. It's a weakness that they've had since the beginning, and it will always be a weakness because they're unwilling to change. Mind you, Windows 11 is pretty good, but I personally... I'm not a big fan of Windows. I, I really don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way things open and close and, and the way things work. I just don't, it should be better than what it is. So at this point, in, in Linux, I like it because it's faster. Pop OS, I like specifically because it works with a lot of the games. So for instance, I'm going to show you something. So here in the pop shop, this is where you go to get stuff. So let's just type in OBS. Oops. OB, oh, darn it. OBS. So you can see OBS is native in the pop shop. You, you just go over here, click install. It installs. Also, Steam, if it'll actually type my words, Steam, right there. That's one of the things, and that brings me to the pop shop. The pop shop is easy. So for audio stuff, you click the audio button and it loads eventually. There you go. Charge all the audio junk. So then what I what I really like about about Pop though is I've used it now. I've recorded four, five, six videos on it now. You can see here's two of them. Detroit Becoming Human. Go to my Weto Local Gaming channel for those. And this is the one that I'm recording for this specific session. So I'm recording and playing video games on this machine. Now, disclaimer, there are there is a couple of a few games that will not play because of the anti-cheat. It is not made for Linux yet, but that still doesn't keep me from from getting on this thing and just going at it because I love I love Linux. I love it. I, 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 I will. So another thing I like about Linux is the file system so the file system this is it right here now everything in windows is is a little bit weird i mean it's to say the least so like these are my this is my windows network space monkey so space monkey is my nvr and then this Cheryl qnap is my nas box this is where all of my videos go see you just literally click it and it comes up to log in easy peasy and that's one thing I like about it. I also like this, uh, it's an application manager, kind of. So I have DaVinci Resolve Studio, but this brings me to one of the dis the drawbacks. DaVinci Resolve Studio is not compatible with Pop! OS, and the reason I know that is because I've uninstalled it twice and reinstalled it twice, and it, it still doesn't work. The video is flawless. But there is no audio. The, tr the track shows no audio at all. When you bring it up in the, in the timeline, there's no, it shows no audio being there. The audio is there, but it doesn't show any of the spikes or any, like any volume. That is one of the things that I dislike about it. But, I mean, there, 
there, I've got another video coming about Rocky Linux, which is compatible. Well, at least version 8.3, and I'm I'm downloading. I'm going to install 9.3. So whether it's compatible, I don't know. We're going to find out. But that that is per Black Magic's. Uh, I sent an email to their support number, and that's what they told me. They sent me a list, and it was Rocky Linux and CentOS are the only two that supported, and only certain versions. So, um, Shotcut works really well. Caden Live is, I would say, as close to DaVinci Resolve as you're going to get. It it works extraordinarily well. It was smooth. I like OpenShot. I mean, I like Shotcut, OpenShot, all those, but they're they're not really what I'm used to doing. That doesn't mean that they're not good, but there's certain apps that are better for for Linux than they are for Mac OS. Like DaVinci Resolve in Mac is awesome, absolutely awesome. But on Linux, you got to have one of those two Linux distros to make it work. Now, I like how everything's divided up into sections in the in the application manager. You can see all your disk and passwords and keys, your utilities. This is all this stuff. This Popsicle USB flasher is the best USB image flasher I've ever seen in my life. It is flawless. It works so well. And then you've got to create folders. So that pretty much sums that up. Now, most of the things, so here's your workspaces. So you can see, well, you can't see it from here, but on the left side, I have the screen where my um, OBS is up. I really like this OS a lot because of the, so then you have your little, uh, this part. So then you can do tiled windows like that, or you can just do floating windows exceptions. I mean, there is so much crap in here. It's ridiculous. And so I like the animations of a lot of these things. Like if we open this up all the way, you can see, I like the animations. And another thing I like about this version of Linux is that it has the NVIDIA drivers built right into the OS. Like I literally, it showed like a list of the ones I could download. And the NVIDIA proprietary one was one of them. I'm going to tell y'all this. This is from experience, y'all. I have used a ton of operating systems in my life. I have used everything from Mac to Windows to a bunch of different types of Linux. And this one, I think so far, is the best one I've ever used. It is fluid and smooth, just like the Mac. Those are the strengths of Linux. It has a, a few more that I really like, but... Um, I like the smoothness. I like how quick it is. It's snappy. Now to the flaws of Linux. The flaws of this OS are sometimes things don't work with quite as well as they should. I use Steam and it's worked flawlessly. But there are times when there are applications you get on here, like DaVinci Resolve, that just don't work. The video works, but if you have no audio, then what's the point? I'm starting to use Caden Live a lot more, and it, it it's very good. I like it. But I don't like it as much as DaVinci Resolve. That's a fact. Um, I do like, I don't like, other than that, so far, I've had no issues. It just works. I, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, it, it, I can't say that for Windows, because the reason I, I went from from Windows to Linux in the first place was because of the game. Detroit Becoming Human, it froze my whole computer up. I'm like, come on, Windows. You, you've had all this time, 30 years to get this correct. You, did, you ain't got it yet. So that's the reason I got away from Windows was because of that. With Linux, this game is played flawless. It It is absolutely, there's been no stuttering. There's been no lagging. And it ain't even made for the OS. So you go you go figure out what makes you better. Now, on to Mac OS. The strengths of Mac OS, there are many. It is a proprietary, closed-ended system. Only allows you to do certain things and download certain things. Now, what's good about that is that the, the they optimize the applications for the hardware. The good thing about that is everything is fast and speedy and snappy. That's And I'm telling you, my MacBook Pro, I have a 2021... MacBook Pro with the i the M1 Mac or the M1 Pro chip in it, and I'm telling you, it is one of the best computers I've ever owned. I love it. It's just it just works flawless. So that is the one thing I can say about Mac. There is only one problem that I've had with it so far, and that's Audacity. The other day crashed. I had recorded a one and a half hour podcast with my friend, went back to my my Mac and the program had crashed so I lost the whole entire thing. That's one thing that's really the only thing I've had issues with. I like it because 
the window switching, all the animations are very smooth and fluid. There's no jerkiness, no lagging, no twitching. Um, I don't have to have an antivirus on it. I just use the firewall that's on it. Just whatever comes with it, that's what I use. And it, it has worked flawless. That is really all I have. To, the, as far as good, it is all good. There's only been one problem. And other than that, I mean, now there are some things that I don't like. There's like some little goofy things that shouldn't be a problem, but they are. I'd say overall... Yes, it is an excellent operate. It's an excellent ecosystem because that's what it really is. Apple, when you buy, you're buying into an ecosystem of, of products. <clears throat> Not only are you buying into the OS, you're buying into um, a lot of their other thing, their hardware. So you're buying not only into the ecosystem of the OS and all that it comes with, like it comes with Office for free, it, except it's the version of Office that Mac created, and I like it. Is it as feature rich as as when as Office? No, but I hate Microsoft, and I hate their Office products, and I hate how they charge you for literally everything. And everybody says that about Apple, but it's not true. It's like we need to understand that there are some things that that are present on Mac that just don't isn't present anywhere else, along with Linux too. I mean, Linux, I I love it. Great OS. It's it's a incredible kernel but there are some it has some drawbacks so in conclusion which one do you think i like better i want to know in the comments who which 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 one would you pick yourself me personally that's a hard decision because i like mac os and i like linux both they're built off of unix both of them so i like elements of both of them but for compatibility i'd probably go with mac for Cheapness, I would go Linux, and I and I I'm an experimenter, so I experiment a lot, and so I would probably go with with Linux just because of the experimentation piece, and the and the discovery piece. That's what I love about Linux is it intrigues my imagination, and that's what I love about it. So that's kind of what I would do. I mean, that's just my opinion. Basically, from where I sit right now, that's exactly what I would do. I would choose Linux over Mac because one, I can run Linux on any computer I want, whereas with Mac, you have to run it on their hardware, and there's drawbacks to both. In my opinion, I like Linux better. That is my two cents on all of this. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. May the Lord keep and eat, bless each every one of you, and bless each step that you take. And until my next video with Cheryl Technology, my name is Chris, everybody. Peace.